What is going on guys? Gray for today. We'll have another housing tour here on PlayStation 4 uh, for the Elder Scrolls Online. Today's house is Lady Kitty Mars, one of the members of Library of Dusk, one of the guilds that I'm in. So I appreciate them letting me come by the house. This is going to be the only home in this video. It is a big house. I don't want to have to hurry through it or skip anything. So when I have some of these bigger houses that I have to look at for some of these videos, I'm probably only going to do one home for these videos. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Now, of course, if you own the Grand Sigic Villa or you have been in the Grand Sigic Villa, most of you would know once you poured in here at the pool, you would be kind of facing this way right here towards this wall, looking towards the house. But Lady has decided to go with a whole different design and kind of build a lot of different things out here on the water. There's a lot of open space around this water, around the home, you know, kind of on this island. And I think this is a very, very cool design. So let's kind of uh, go down this way and check it out. Of course, we see some, uh, you know, walkways and, and uh, different docks and things built, kind of what you would expect from uh, almost uh, like a, a pier or, you know, whatever the case may be, where some boats would be or something. Uh, of course, a very cool design here with the, the trees and, uh, of course, the flowers hanging on the lattice work. Of course, the greenhouse. A lot of different items, you know, either things that you can dig up from scrying, things that you can either purchase, things you can craft. That's the great thing about housing, that you can combine all this stuff and make some really, really cool designs. Of course, we go in the greenhouse. It's kind of a, it is a peaceful area where you could sit out here maybe and do some uh, studying in your library or... Uh, maybe checking out some maps for your next adventure or whatever the case may be. Uh, just kind of out here on the ocean, kind of just built this area out here. And it's very neat looking just because of, you know, it being glass and it being open. You can kind of see the water. I do think you do have uh, someone, lady, that's maybe trying to steal something. You might need to get a guard dog. But um, just a very cool idea to have this placed out here on the water. Like I said, being glass, it's, it's just a very kind of pretty view when you're looking around it. So... Uh, we go over here to this next area. Of course, we see the windmill, uh, which would be something you kind of expect to see. Maybe I, I don't know, an area like this um, on the ocean. Uh, it's very cool looking. Just kind of looks like, like I said, it looks like a port down here. It's something you would see, you know, on the ocean, uh, a home by the ocean or some, you know, some docks by the water, whatever the case may be. And that kind of continues that theme here. We see a lot of ropes, you know, some different anchors and things, almost like a port where maybe there's being some trading done, some selling. Of course, we can see that there is, uh, you know, the ESO plus uh, statues we get for being members. Of course, we have our merchant, things like that. We have some different items here that's, like I said, maybe getting picked up uh, by, on, on the port while one of those ships coming by. And, of course, we get out here, we have a ship that's crashed. Um, oh, we have some dragons after it, too. So, look, <laughs> um, something's kind of how made this Loch Ness Monster. Who knows? A very, very clever idea. I like that a lot. Um, have the boat on fire. That was, that's very, very cool. I kind of come here to this island that's almost going to remind you of something like Somerset. You know, things you would see with the bright, uh, you know, floral kind of sea items, coral, whatever the case may be. You know, things you would imagine you could see in the ocean, of course, or around the ocean. Things you would see in definitely in Somerset. You know, it's very, very pretty, very bright, very eye-catching. Of course, we have, you know, another anchor out here. We may have some more creatures creeping up out of the ocean, uh, out of the water. Just kind of watching me, <laughs> um, but this is this is very very nice looking. It's just very pretty and just in general, anything that comes from Somerset that has that real bright look to it is very eye catching. Of course, we have the nice dragon statue here, uh, a couple other smaller dragon statues. Um, I like the idea of the fire being here on top of this piece because it just kind of puts it all together when you stand back and look at it with all the different flowers and you know the different dragons flying around and maybe it's supposed to be the dragons kind of island. You know, so this is a very, very neat with the statue kind of out here on its own. It's his own built kind of little place, you know. This water out here is just open space, so you can come up with different ideas for any home you're in. It doesn't necessarily have to be a design inside the house. You can do a lot of different things around. So as you can see, that's just very cool looking from kind of afar when you're standing back here looking at it. We're kind of uh, going around this way. We'll go across the, some more. Uh, you know, docks, piers here, kind of around the waterfall, which was a very uh, cool feature once once you built that here. Have just, you know, kind of a dock here, you know, a floating dock, you know, with the, you can kind of see the barrels around it. It's like it's just a floating pier. Maybe you can do some fishing off here. Another boat, of course. Uh, so this is just a, a neat looking kind of place for, you know, like I said, just, you know, if you want to go out fishing, maybe you want to go out and get on your boat, that kind of thing. So I really like this idea as well. It kind of ties it all in together very well. With the whole kind of, um, like I said, it's kind of pier dock theme that kind of surrounds the water out here. And of course, most of you know, if you own this home, you come down here, this is kind of just some, it's kind of an open area with some pillars and that kind of thing. And 
this was done very well to make it almost like its own just cave. This is very, very pretty area. Uh, done very, very well. I really like this. It's just kind of surreal looking when you get under here. I mean, it's just very bright, very colorful. Uh, looks like something you'd see in a fairy tale. You know, I mean, it's just very neat, a very cool idea to kind of close this in with these rocks and just make it look like its own kind of cave and the, you know, kind of bright blues and, and the way the water you know, makes these different lights shine. I, I think this is, this is a very cool idea. Kind of go up the stairs here to the, you know, kind of what you would assume to be the heart or inside of the home here. And we're going to have some other things over here in this area, some other really neat trees, some other, uh, you know, the, the other waterfall. This house has a lot of waterfalls. A lot of the ESO homes, of course, here in the game have the waterfalls. Uh, kind of have a another um, greenhouse kind of on a platform here, so we'll go check that out for sure. Uh, just once again, done very well because of all the different bright colors that are around the home. I think a lot of these different bright lights and plants stand out when you know how to you know, handle them correctly and place them correctly. Uh, this one's kind of treated, I guess you would say, more as a uh, greenhouse, kind of a... Uh, maybe some sea plants, you know, plants you would see once again, things like Somerset uh, plants. But when you come in here, it's just very bright looking, kind of have the fan here. It's like the trying to make sure that everything has the right amount of temperature and moisture, you know, for what a greenhouse would be. But I really, really like the look of this with these bright plants. I think this is really, really nice. So I also have some gold over here. At least that thief that was at the front so not made his way over here yet trying to steal your gold. <laughs> but I do really like the look of this greenhouse. It's really, really very pretty. Once again, very bright very colorful kind of go back down this way down the stairs around towards the front of the home oh, we have a wagon here like might have a uh, something going on <laughs> with the boarded up windows maybe uh there's a there, there maybe a uh, lady's protecting the home from you know somebody trying to break in or you know almost like a uh, what you would see something in a, a, a scene from you know, maybe something in the game where there's a battle going on or whatever the case may be. So a, a very good idea to, if you're not going to use the inside of your home, if you want to use just the outside, you can do things like this, just kind of block up the entranceway. That way that, you know, it keeps everyone's attention when they're in your home to what you want them to see. So a lot of people do that. A lot of people put up walls to block off areas. So that's a very cool idea to do some things like that if you would like. And that's very well handled with, you know, kind of looks like the, like the windows are boarded up and it's on fire. Maybe it's getting sieged from somewhere. Some other little items over here on the side, as you can see, some of the things you can dig up from uh, antiquities and things like that. And we kind of go around the front so we can get a good view of kind of what you can see here. A uh, very good use, in my opinion, of these vampiric windows. You kind of see them here in the archways. I really like the look of that. Some more of, you know, the undaunted statues and things around, kind of all around the front here, almost like a little shrine of uh, some different, you know, things you can get from doing your undaunted, uh, you know, dungeons and things like that. Of course, Probably one of the coolest uh, PvP uh, housing items you can get here. The hammer, we have the hammer. Um, <laughs> I've always wanted to have this thing in my house. I think this thing is very, very cool. But it's just a very cool look right here. Like I said, almost like a I mean, the house has been boarded up. Like I said, almost like a, a siege happening. So I think this is a neat idea to kind of take away from, you know, oh, this is a huge house. You know, it has a lot of space inside. But there's a massive amount of area outside of a lot of these homes that you can decorate and do a lot of different things with and kind of come up with your own ideas and not really just have to decorate what you've been given. Uh, even though you buy, you buy a house in, in the Elder Scrolls Online, it's kind of a, a template of here's a home, you can decorate it how you want. It's almost just like a sandbox. You can do anything. It doesn't have to be just necessarily the home that's being decorated. Kind of come up here to this area, some statues, uh, kind of maybe a burial site. A very neat idea. I like a lot of the different statues we do have available in game, so you can do a lot of different things with those. Come over here to this area, which looks kind of more of a a dark, swampy kind of look. Some of the things from Merkmire and things that of that nature, uh, kind of over here. Some of these dangerous plants, I better run. <laughs> but just a, a cool look for this because you know it's gone from that real bright and, and floral, pretty colors you would see in Somerset to kind of more of this. You know, what you would see in Merkmire, kind of just a swampy look. We have some of the creatures just kind of maybe peering out of the uh, <laughs> peering out of the log here. Kind of can see off in the distance. Maybe this is a, you could use this for whatever. I'm going to take this as maybe a lady's example of a lot house, you know, out in the oceans in case somebody's coming by to deliver something. Or there's maybe a warning light not to come up here. <laughs> uh, maybe the warning light not to come up here so you don't have to... Uh, 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 come by this log and get may, may never go back when you come by this log some of these creatures may grab you but 
This is just uh, really cool too. A lot of this Mark Meyer stuff you can get. Some of these uh, trees and things, you know, with the long roots and whatnot, uh, is a very cool thing you can do to make kind of a, a swampy, uh, almost creepy kind of look at times. If you want, depending on however you want to place them. All these plants trying to beat me up. <laughs> I better run. But I really do like the look of that. And like I said, I like the, the log with all the, the little uh, creepy things hanging out around them. We'll go over here to kind of what I'm assuming is going to be the last area. I did, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I did kind of come by and take a peek at this yesterday because I really wanted to see it before I did the video. Uh, so I think this is the last area right over here to the left. Another very cool idea of how to design a house once again without really having to use the house. You use all the other things that are around, all the other area, all the other space that is around. So you can kind of see, so of course the crafting tables down here, that kind of thing. Of course some more ropes, once again kind of like a dock, kind of like a pier. Uh, some of these things you can dig up, of course, from antiquities. And yes, if you have not dug this up, this is a building you can dig up from antiquities. I'm not quite sure how your character is supposed to get this out of here. <laughs> some of these items are small, and then you dig this up. But anyway, uh, I really like the design of this over here with these mushrooms on the water. Kind of sticks to the theme of everything you know out here on the water. It's kind of very bright, very colorful, uh, very pretty on this blue water. So the one thing over here that I thought was very neat when I came by is if you come right here and stand have our own little homemade uh, statue which is a very cool thing also you can do things like this you know there's different statues and things in game that you can you know buy and get and create there's also a lot of things you can make yourself and so I really like the look of this uh, right here and I'm almost I'm just gonna say it lady I, I think this is a UFO <laughs> I don't know that's what these things always look like to me when you see these almost look like a UFO so I think that's a ship of some sort. I think that is very, very neat. I like this idea of how you've designed this, you know, kind of colorful place with the, the you know, the mushrooms and things. Made your own style, you know, kind of statue from the different rocks and things available in game. But I really do appreciate Lady letting me come by the house. I hope you guys liked it. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think about this home. Of course, if you'd like to see one of your homes in one of the videos, leave me a comment. I'll try to get with you and find a time where I can come by and visit your house for the video. And, of course, check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and, of course, the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. Uh, there's a 5% discount code down in the description as well. You can use it at checkout. And I'll catch you guys all next time. Peace.